Bonjour friendship ladies, in this video today I am going to show you two ways to help you discover what your body shape is. Are you with me? My name is Marianne Lecoeur of MarianneLecoeur.com and HowToBeChicAndElegant.com I have helped tens of thousands of women upgrade their style via my personal style consultancy, my friendship academy, my many, many courses, my best-selling books, and of course, now via this YouTube community. If you are new here, welcome to my channel and please click subscribe and click on the little bell to receive notifications. Thank you. So, if you are ready, click yes in the comments below and please don't forget to stay until the end because I'll give you a promo code for my body shape courses. So, let's get to it. In my opinion, knowing your body shape is absolutely essential to good style and certainly it is essential for friendship style. Once you know your body shape, you will be able to make the right choices for every piece and item that you're going to buy, you're going to put on so that you know you dress exactly for your body shape and not for another body shape that is not yours and once you know your body shape you will know exactly which areas to emphasize and which areas to conceal and this will form the foundation of your style so once you know your body shape the next step will be of course to learn your style objectives and what to wear for that body shape So to keep things simple, I like to keep to only five main body shapes. So they are apple, they are hourglass, rectangle, pear and inverted triangle. Okay, so the first method to help you discover what is your body shape. So stand in front of your full length mirror and it is important to do it in front of a full length mirror so you can see from your head to your toes. Okay, so in your underwear, the bra that fits you well. So have a look. Stand right in front and have a look which shape comes out, okay? So, if you are an apple, you know what an apple looks like. This is why I keep to this five main body shape because they are easy really to visualize in your head, okay? So, are you an apple shape? Which means that your tummy area is the most prominent um, portion of your body. This, the tummy area is the part that stands out the most, okay? So now we've got the hourglass. You know exactly what an hourglass is. You see, it's two triangles like this. Or are you a rectangle? You know exactly the shape of a rectangle. Or are you a pear shape? We all know the pear shape, you know, wider at the hips at the top. And the inverted triangle, which is the opposite of the pear, you know, the wider at the shoulders and narrow hips. So, you can pause this video right now, have a look already in your full length mirror and please type below what is the body shape that you think that you are. So the second way to help you to discover your body shape is to take measurements. So we take four measurements which I take the shoulders, the bust, the waistline and the hip line. Okay, so the shoulders. So you take oh, <laughs> so you take the shoulders here. Do not tighten your tape measure and make sure that the tape measure do not ride up at the back. Okay, so that's the shoulders like this. It is especially important, for instance, to help you uh, to see if your body shape is well balanced between the upper body and the lower body. Okay, so shoulders. Then next the bust. So the bust is going to be the trickiest because you have to ensure that it is done at the widest part of your bust and also that it does not ride up at the back, okay? So it's going to be probably a bit difficult with my mannequin. Um, so like this, do not press too hard otherwise that will not be the right one. So that's the second one. Then the waistline at your narrowest point. Uh, of your waist, usually just above the belly button. So, here you go like this. Again, do not tighten your tape measure. So, the fourth measurement will be the hips. So, you take the measurement at the widest part of your hips and that will include part of the bottom as well. And make sure it doesn't ride up. Okay? So, um, I'm going to try to make it straight here on the mannequin, not that easy. 
So again, so the wellness part of your hips, and this is especially, especially important if you are a pear shape. So now you have your four measurements, what do you do? So uh, have a look at your measurements. If your measurements for your shoulders and your bust match the measurements of your hips, you could be a rectangle or an eyeglass. A rectangle will be the waistline, not very narrow, but you will know exactly if you are an eyeglass, if the waistline, the waistline is a minimum of 25% narrower than the other measurements. If you are a pear shape, you will have a narrow here, narrow measurements for your shoulders and narrow measurements for your bust compared to your wide hips. That will make you know that you are a pair. For the opposite, it will be an inverted triangle. If your measurements for your shoulders here are much wider, much larger than the measurement of your hips. Okay? And the last one, for an apple, you will see that the measurement of your tummy area, of your waistline, it's much bigger than the others. You can see that is the prominent part. So, have you discovered your body shape? Do you find those two ways very helpful? Please let me know below in the comments below and let us know your body shape. Are you an apple? Are you a pear? Are you an hourglass, a rectangle or an inverted triangle? Please type in the comments below. So, I hope you found this video helpful. Please look in the description below for your free Shape Up e-course that will give you those two methods. And also now is the free coupon code for 20% of your body shape course. So the coupon code is discover shape 20 and I will link to these e-course below in the description box. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like, share it with your friends and remember that I show you a video every Monday and every Friday. So thank you very much for watching. A bientôt.